versus Katars. You're not taking too much damage. You're not taking as much damage as uh, the Katar player would like you to take. They're hoping you mess up. They're hoping they get that three, four, five piece that they are speeding for. But Kyler Alice, high force. Nash, one of the higher force legends in the game, and with two weapons that can put the damage down on you. So Kyler Alice not looking for as many hits as uh, Dummy is here to keep this game in his favor. Yeah, and then of course, the signature kit coming out from the Nashes. I know uh, he already threw out the down signature, but those side sig and the neutral sig are all equally strong, but a neutral sig from Dummy and Ooh. the ground pound, he might get the first stop. Solid from Dummy going for that extended offstage play. He gets the end sig at first. If that was a slight to the right, it ends up offstage. Yeah, just immediately. Doesn't work out, goes for that ground pound, jets down, gets that edge guard. It's very solid. Kyler Alice has a lot to make up for, and he's making up for it with the narrative down like there. Yeah, that was a great response from Dummy, knowing that it bounced, but Kyle Alice already bringing this back. Chased up, wanted that second recovery, but Dummy gets just past it. I'm liking what we're seeing from Kyler so far on the clapback because look at that. That was a wake-up, actually. If you saw the guitar there, kind of start up, it looked like. Uh, it gets punished immediately with that downlight because you're just going to go straight through it. That, yeah. fluid that fluid option towards sideline downlight, it works. Go for it. And we've been seeing a lot of downlights. Why? Because Dummy is playing Katars. Katars like to approach with that down air. Kyler Alice is immediately running onto the stage and going for these down airs. He's getting these punishes off quick and easy. Yeah, maybe we'll see a swap up in the approach uh, from Dummy. Maybe go for a little bit more of those side lights into the, the chase downlight or uh, dash downlight. Yeah, there you go. It's not like going to be the punish. Threw away the Katars, though. And Dummy sidelights the wrong way, but ends up fighting his way back with that side air. Kyler Alice getting a lot of these sidelights, but can't get any more value off of him. And the value in that sidelight is that it leaves you in an area where you can be punished by a lot of stuff, even if you dodge, right? Yeah, it can be, uh, it can put you in a risky spot. Oh! Ooh, ooh. Side sig from Dummy! I've been Dummy. waiting for that all day. We saw it earlier and it got interrupted by that gauntlet down like this time. There's no stage for you to interrupt it with unless you GC, but he wasn't ready for it. No, he didn't expect it. That thing came out quick, but so did the side air from the Kyler. Side air comes out just as quick. The stocks are even in this grind finals game one. Kyler Alice has the weapon advantage, but Dummy has the skill advantage. Is that down like Grandpa is going to rack up the damage. Some good damage put out from Dummy. Kyler, again, throwing out many heavies, but none really hitting against Dummy. Some good punishes to that lack of dodge from Kyler, uh, to Kyler there. Katar's back in hand. Okay, tried to go for the down light. Uh, yeah, the down light didn't quite work out. Their weapon throw. Not a lot going to be found off that. The side light is going to happen once again with no follow-up. Double end light coming out, but doesn't find the recovery. Down light. Okay, caught the dodge in with the end sig this time. Dummy, though, with the response, downlight recovery, has the sword. This is what he wants. Fresh sword in Dummy's hands. That's that KO power he's looking for. The side is going to catch the, the recovery. He got his recovery back. Yeah. He must have hit the platform just barely. The weapon throw, on the other hand, is going to catch you going to the other side. Dummy said, you know what? I can't make it back on a map like Mammoth Fortress, but I can do one thing. Throw my weapon. Catches Kyler Alice out, and that is... Game one going the way of Dummy in the Grand Finals. A really good weapon toss from Dummy to try to keep that pressure going. And there you see in that clip of that initial edge guard. And uh, now Kyle Alice, <laughs> he's immediate like, all right, I got to go to the boat bar. We got to close this yeah, out. Yeah, he's looking at his wristwatch. He's saying that I got things to do today. Let's end this as quickly as possible. He switches to that boat bar pick that we saw him do so well with. But I've got to wonder, is it just for the sword? Because we saw him playing majorly spear that game. I feel like he played... More spear than hammer. You can see it on the damage there. It, only 57 damage dealt with the hammer. The spear was the main weapon of choice there. And now it's completely gone. So now maybe, like, because maybe if we saw him play more to his hammer there, even on the Nash, it would have been uh, a completely different game, right? Yeah. So he says, I'm still going to play hammer. I still want to play hammer. But this time I'm going to switch back to my main weapon of sword. I mean, that's like the classic Kyler Alice pick is he'll try a bunch of different things, but at the end of the day, it's the bode bar that works the best for him. Right. So it kind of makes sense. Um, I think kind of to your point, right, like if we saw more hammer in game number one, then it makes more sense because if you wanted a sword, maybe Hattori is a character, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like he put, he put up good damage with the spear, but no, he's going to the classics. It's and that's the, bode the bar. And that's the thing when you have a legacy like Kyler Alice, right? Through the years, we've seen him on a lot of things, right? The Bodvar being one of the core ones that we've mentioned, but I've seen him on so many things that I can't even list them all here, right? Even yeah. on his uh, stats chart, you've got like five different character picks, and the, the Jala wasn't even on there and he opened with it. So going into this, even if he loses here, he's got a lot of games and a lot of room to think about what he wants to play. Yeah, definitely a lot of opportunities to adapt, considering he has that upper bracket advantage, but 
Kyler Alice has taken a lot of damage already against yep. Dummy. You're talking about that adaptation that he has, but Dummy already has found some for himself. He's getting these dodge beats consistently on Kyler now. Side is going to send pretty far, but that side air is not a KO option on the Katars unless you are off stage. Spikes him off the ground, but Ooh. you know what doesn't spike off the ground? One arm side stick. Oh, Dummy already sitting in the throne saying he is going to be crowned the spring champion, but he's got to get through Kyler Alice. It's looking really comfortable for him with these Katar nares, and the damage rack up is always there. He's not taking a heartbeat to wait. You can see it's still going on even when he switches the sword. We thought it was the Katars only, but nope, it's both. Recovery from Tyler. Synchronized side airs. Okay, another recovery. High ceiling on Demon Island, but not high enough. Kyler Alice evens it up, but he took a decent amount of damage there. Down light into the recovery. The recovery is not going to connect on the Katars. The damage rack up is enough, though. He's just looking for this KO. Now the side air is not going to do it. He switches weapons, it looks like. He wants that sword, but he's going to take some damage trying to get it. Yeah, and Kyler Alice denies it as Dummy gets close enough. Lack of dodge. Oh, oh he dipped so far. Yeah, you could tell he got really worried that sometimes you waste your dodge and you get some and uh, you get punished. Sometimes you waste your dodge and you get scared. He got a little too scared there as he fell to the bottom of the map. Kyler Alice, too too primed to let that opportunity go to waste. I mean, just the respect, right? Dummy just got scared away by Kyler Alice's presence, and now he's hoping for the sword spawn so he can yeah, even up the can stock count. You can just tell he didn't want those guitars. As soon as Kyler got the map, threw them away, threw them away again. Now you're going to see him opt into that guitar play. He's been consistent with it. He wants the sword to KO. He wants the guitars for damage, and the damage is what it does. That's the end light coming out. Doesn't find the recovery. He tried to get past, got a neutral, or didn't get the neutral light. Neutral light connects. No dodge read attempt there. Instead, just kind of waited. Tyler Alice has the hammer in hand. The hammer in a map like this, in a spot like this, that stomp could send you so far. Even if it won't KO, it puts you in a position to get edge guarded. And these edges are small. It's very dangerous. Katars, on the other hand, this damage rack up. Oh my gosh, we've been seeing it Ooh, all day. The Russian, Russian Mafia! Mafia Kyler is, Alice! Kyler Alice is too consistent with it. That has been a combo in the game forever. Kyler Alice has been a player forever, so of course he's using it. He did it perfectly there. Downlight, chase dodges forward, gets that recovery off the down air, is going to KO, especially on a ceiling like that. You said it was very far up, but it was not far up enough for the Russian Mafia to be ineffective. You see you know it here what? again I think in the slow game, motion. The game sees something hype is happening and the ceiling comes down a little bit. It's yeah. like, hey, He's we like, got to make sure that we get the clip. They're you know sitting I mean? back in the lab, they're like, oh, this is, this is a play right here. Yeah. Bring, the, bring the map closer. <laughs> yeah, this is a play. <laughs> <laughs> Game two goes the way of Kyler Alice. The swap to the bode bar working out. But, uh, like, admittedly, Dummy was doing good with the Katars. Yeah. He was building damage on that final Viewers stop. can't see it, but you can. That damage chart is something special with uh, Dummy losing that stock really early because of the offstage mistake he made there. This time, we're not, we're not expecting not to see that. Once again, Dummy has a slight lead for himself here. The damage is good for him. Kyler Alice can't find an opening. Kyler Alice struggling a little bit as Dummies, again, getting some great damage built up. Good positioning. Goes for the end sig read, maybe expecting a panic jump from Kyler Alice. Double side airs from Kyler Ooh. Alice. Down like ground pound was really nice. That was a good movement. That was a good option choice from Kyler Alice as he sends Dummy down to his doom. It's crazy because every time Dummy starts looking good, he's like getting all this damage built up. Kyler Alice is like, all right, I got to finish your stock now. Great pickup from Dummy, though. Keeps the stock count and damage completely even. Damage is even, like you mentioned, the weapon is in favor of Dummy. He switches out the Katars for brand new Katars. These ones are shiny. They're both gold, but these ones are more gold. Yeah, freshly Kyler polished. Alice has the hammer in hand. Dummy actually disarms himself with that weapon throw. Golds for the weapon spawn. Does not, actually. He wants to play the unarmed out. Yo, I love the way he's doing it, too. It's kind of the, like, fake out, dash back, gets in with a side light, dash back, neutral light. Still taking a decent amount of damage because he's going to put out less than that hammer will, and... Kyle Alice suddenly has the opportunity to finish the stock. Yep, these hammer moves are dealing a beating. You can see the side lights still coming out like I was mentioning earlier. The uh, Nairs are also doing a lot of work. Kyler Alice actually opts out to play the sword here. Maybe he thinks it's easier to KO with the sword than the hammer. Oh. And it definitely is in that situation. That sword edge guard, tried and true, the down air is going to knock you out of your recovery. He's so good at finishing stocks right on time. Like, he's he's got a wizard's watch, and he's like, all right, time to finish this stock. Never too early, never too late, right on time. Weapon throw from Dummy. 
create some space for himself. Doesn't want to go in just yet. Neither does Kyler. Weapon throw from Kyler going to create some more space. They're both creating a lot of space right now. But the question is, who's going to use that space right now? Kyler Alice is trying to get that extra credit with it. Dummy, yeah. he's got the sword. Dummy looking more like he wanted to opt into the sword there, which uh, we know he's pretty, pretty, pretty uh, much always looking to yeah, do that when you're getting, when you're getting red. Yep. Kyler Alice ends up disarmed. He's still trying to get as much extra credit as he can. And now he's doing the will he, won't he with the weapon spawn. Beautiful GC downlight. Side Sig outspaces the downlight. Kyler Alice one hit away. Kyler Finishes Alice out. goes for the down air once again, does not find it. He ends up at the bottom of the map with the hammer. It's not the end of the world. He gets sent up high, but not high enough. Dummy has the sword, could get the stock, but a neutral light and Kyler Alice Puts it away, 2-1 advantage to Kyler Alice. Extra credit, extra credit, but a two stock is graduation. Kyler Alice is gonna make it on and graduate to the third game. He's not, I'm sorry, the fourth game. He's not done just yet. We're going back to Brawl Haven. This is where it all started for the two of these players. Can Dummy bring it back? That's the big question of the day. Dummy, again, playing from behind, not only in set count, or in game count and set count, uh, but he is coming from the elimination side of things, so he has to get this set just to reset it for a second best of five. Yup, that champion's bracket is nothing to scoff at. If you can win that winner's finals, you're going to be sitting very, very pretty. Kyler Alice has the hammer in hand, and he goes downwards for that edge guard. He was looking for it, does not find it, and dummy. For once, he's playing the sword up, trying to rack up some damage with it. Doesn't want to switch too fast, doesn't want to force a weapon spawn, but when it does come down to him, he is going to switch out. Yeah, would, would rather have a weapon than be unarmed, even if it means he has to sit on the sword a little while longer. But now that he's over the guitars, he's got the damage build opportunity. And we've seen sometimes Dummy wants to bring out a SIG if it's opportune enough, but uh, not a lot. There is one that he goes for right there. The side sig isn't going to be it. The recovery is going to be a better option to KO, and that side is going to punish the GC. Weapon throw. Ooh, a little late on the ground pound. Kyle Alice gets passed. Now like, he's got the advantage. Dummy opting oh. for the other side, but bumps his head. That gives Kyler time to make it over, but not quick enough. Yeah, just kind of hit the wrong end of that spike, but he still finds the downlight in the recovery. Speaking of signatures, though, in the last game total, they threw out three signatures, one from Dummy, two from Kyler Alice. So they're really holding them back. Yep, these weapons are staying in hands, and they're using light attacks. We're in a light attack game here. And Side another air. light attack. Hammer in hand for Kyler Alice, who doesn't even do a lot of work with it. I feel like Kyler Alice is definitely opting to play both his weapons here, and even the uh, numbers are agreeing with that. He's doing a lot of damage with the sword and the hammer. Right now you have the hammer in hand, the nair is going to come through. Has no dodge, so that second air is an option, but doesn't find it. Stomp side light, oh, side sick. snap. This is big. Kyler Alice throws out a second side sick dummy. A little too low to punish, though. Kyler Alice starting to swing for the fences. Multiple signatures thrown out. I'm telling you, they can hear us. We tell him he's not using <laughs> enough signs. He says, open. I got you. I got you. <laughs> He's now thrown out more signatures in this <laughs> game than last game combined. You know what I mean? Like, he's just getting them. Dummy on tournament elimination stock here. This is the last stock for Dummy if he does lose it too quickly. He's trying to build this damage on Kyler Alice. Kyler Alice, on the other hand, is clapping back. Okay, downlight recovery. Dummy trying to get this one even. Downlight downer doesn't get the side air. Another time. He goes for the dare into this air again. Can't find it. The recovery is going to take Kyler off the top before it becomes too dangerous. And then juggling for a little bit. There's the spawn. Katara's in Dummy's hands. Dummy, trying to take this to game number five. Can we see another game five between the two of them? Darren Janair says otherwise. Dummy oh, goes for that dodge. ground pound and chase dodges off the map for safety. Yeah, he flew far off that chase dodge. Got back, but... Just barely misses the punish there. Damage. Side air is going to catch the recovery. Kyler Alice looking to close it off here with this edge guard. Dummy makes it back to the stage. Just barely, but he's taking so much damage here. Doesn't hit the side like Kyler Alice gets it. Three, one. He's getting the spring championship and has a very real chance of getting that flight and hotel to the oh, midseason. Kyler Alice is excited and he's happy. He's, oh, wait, no, wait. He's top PR. He, he's he, guaranteed. That's top PR. He's top PR. He had 100%. He, they, he's got it.